Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to quickly make a kimono style sleeves in Clo 3D. Kimono sleeves are the style that cut as a single piece with the bodice of a garment. In the 3D window, I have uploaded this basic woven dress block I created from the previous tutorial. You can download this block for free using the link in the description. Use internal line to create waistline on both front and back bodice. Right click and choose cut and sew. Split center front seam as well. Add a point to the front sleeves armhole. Select chest dart. Right click and choose rotate dart. Click the new armhole point. Drag and slide the portion to close the chest dart. Move cursor to ideal dart length and click again to end the function. Move half front bodice pattern on top of the half back bodice. I have assigned a new color to the back bodice and lower front bodice's opacity, so I can easily compare both patterns. I need to make both sleeve opening the same. Right now, the front armhole opening is bigger than the back. So I am going to move the front shoulder and side seam point to match the back bodice armhole. Once it's done, move front bodice pattern to the side. Use smooth curve tool to replace armhole with a straight line. Add a point close to shoulder and side seam point. The avatar arm length is 23 inches. Use edit point to select the new point close to shoulder. Move and extend this point following the shoulder slope. You can right-click to bring out the moving window, or hit Ctrl key if you are using Mac. Enter sleeve length in distance move and click OK. Adjust this point to make sure shoulder seam is straight. Select under arm new point. Move it out to the distance around 90 degrees from the previous point. Repeat the same step for the back bodice. Place both pattern together and make sure both sleeves lengths and shape are the same. Move both front and back shoulder point one quarter inch up and make sure shoulder seams are smooth. Select back bodice shoulder seam. Right click and choose offset pattern outline. Enter half inch in distance and click OK. By doing this, it will make the shoulder seam lay slightly toward the front when wearing the garment. Next step is to create the underarm's curve shape. There's no set rule. Depending on your preference, you can add a point to both underarm seam and side seam. Then use smooth curve tool to drag the intersection point to create a new curve shape. Once it's done, select back bodice patterns. Right-click in 3D window and choose Reset 2D Arrangement. Use avatar joints to move arms position to match the sleeve pattern. Unfold center front seam. Reset 2D arrangement in 3D window. Place the piece close to avatar. Connect front and back bodice and sleeve with sewing tool. Double check if there's any sewing missing.
Select all bodice pattern. Change layer to one in property editor. Click simulate. I can see some sewing are missing, so let me fix that. Simulate again. And there, I have made the kimono sleeves. Make sure to change layer back to zero. For this design, I am going to make it a loosely fit top and overlapped neckband. So I will remove darts and create the neck shape and add a band around. And here is the final result. Now you know the way to make kimono sleeve. I would also like to show you another similar style. Dolman sleeve. Like kimono style, dolman sleeve is also cut as one piece with the bodice. But it has wider armhole that dramatically narrows towards the wrist, often resembling a batwing shape. To make dolman sleeve, I need to extend the armhole like what I have shown you in the previous demonstration. This time, I am going to use polygon tool to create a sleeve pattern first. Using half front bodice pattern. Starting from the shoulder point, create sleeve length and shape. Back to underarm point. Make the curve shape following front bodice's armhole to complete the sleeve pattern. Select both armhole segment lines, right-click and choose Merge. Adjust sleeve position to make sure shoulder seam is straight. Use Trace tool to delete merge lines. Drag under arm point out all the way to waist point to create a curve shape by using Smooth Curve tool. Add an internal line from top neck point to waist. Right click and choose cut and sew. Repeat the same step on back bodice pattern. Delete the armhole portion from back bodice. Make a duplicate of the front sleeve. Adjust back bodice segment to match the front sleeve seam. Select both segment lines and merge them together. Unfold front bodice. Place both front and back bodice close to avatar. Simulate and make sure there's no issue. The last step is to make a bigger underarm curve shape and make the sleeve looking like a wing. 
starting from middle of the forearm. I will create a big curve toward the waist point. If you like to have an even bigger wing, you can use fullness point. Create a slash line from shoulder point to the underarm seam to spread it open. Make sure to adjust avatar's arm position to match the sleeve shape. Simulate. Everything looks great, and I can start adding details. Here is the final render. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.